This is alternative political analysis and this short video will be on the storm of the election. The Democratic Unionist Party, the DUP, got 28 seats, which is a plurality of seats in relation to party affiliation within Stormont. They got 28.1% of the vote. That's a plurality of vote share in terms of party affiliation. And that was a 1.1% decrease in vote share and a 10 seat decrease. And they got two more seats than I predicted and 0.3% less vote share than I predicted. Provisional Sinn Féin got 27 seats, a plurality of nationalist seats, and they got 27.9% of the vote. That's a plurality of the nationalist vote chart in the six counties. Uh, they lost one seat, but they had a 3.9% vote share increase. They got eight more seats than I predicted, and 6.9% more of the vote share than I predicted. The SDLP, the Social Democratic and Labour Party, got 12 seats, 11.9% of the vote, which is a decrease of 0.1% in vote share, and they neither increased nor decreased their amount of seats in Stormont, and they got three more seats than I predicted, and 2.1% more of the vote share than I predicted. The Ulster Unionist Party, the UUP, got 10 seats and 12.9% of the vote share. That's a decrease of 6 seats and a 0.3% increase in the vote share. They got 1 seat less than I predicted, but 0.9% more of the vote share. The Lions got 8 seats and 9.1% of the vote. That's no seat change and a 2.1% increase in the vote share. Two more seats than I predicted and 2.8% more of the vote share than I predicted. I also um, got predictions wrong on the Green Party, the traditional unionist voice, people before profit, and the electoral fortunes of independent candidates. And this leaves the Stormont Assembly um, in the current conditions. There are 48 elected unionists and 39 uh, elected nationalists and Mike Nesbitt has resigned as the leader of the Ulster Unionist Party and the Democratic Unionist Party have lost the power of the petition of the con concern and this means that they need at least two Ulster Unionist MLAs or a traditional Unionist MLA or a, an independent Unionist MLA for consociational veto use in Stormont. And that is how this election brought on by the Renewable Heating Initiative scandal has played out.